Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great. So here we go. Given f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 6, use the vertex formula to find the vertex of the parabola, determine the x and y intercepts, and sketch the graph. So let's uh, do it this way. So x is fx is given as x squared plus 4x plus 6. Okay, so if we compare with the standard function fx is equal to ax squared plus bx plus 6, okay, our a is 1, b is 4, and c equal to 6, okay. So, Vertex formula, vertex. Okay. Vertex formula is B over 2A, comma, F of B over 2A. So, let's find B over 2A. B over 2a is 4 times 2 divided by 2 times 1 is 4 by 2 is 2. Now let's find the value of the function a at 2. F2 is 2 square plus 4 times 2 plus 6 is equal to 2 square plus 8 plus 6 or 4 plus 8 plus 6, which is 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 6 is 18. I made a mistake. This is minus b over 2a and f minus b over 2a. So this is minus, minus, and this one I have to erase is minus 2. So this is minus 2 squared, 4 times minus 2 is 6. So uh, let me erase this, all of this. So minus 2 squared is minus 2 times minus 2. Two minuses make it positive. Four minus four times minus two is minus eight plus six. So you have six plus four minus eight, which is 10 minus eight is two. So the vertex is, if I create some space, Vertex is vertex is minus b of two a, which is this is minus b of two a is minus two comma two f minus b two a is two. Okay. So to find the y axis intercept. The y-axis intercept of fx is equal to ax x squared plus bx plus c set x is equal to 0. So that will be f of 0 is equal to a of 0 plus b times 0 plus c is equal to C. So in this case, y-axis intercept is C. Y-axis intercept is C is 6 or the point itself, x is always 0 on the y-axis is 0, 6. Okay. 
So, <clears throat> okay. And to find the x-axis intercept, let's find the x-axis intercept. So, to find the To find the x axis, x axis intercept. Set f of x equal to zero. So zero is equal to f x. Okay, so zero equal to fx is <clears throat> nothing but x squared plus 4x plus 6. Okay, so we cannot uh, factor 6 into two factors, which when multiplied together will be 6 and added together will be 4. That's not going to work out. So we have to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, so my a is 1, my b is 4, and my c is equal to 6. So this is x is equal to minus b, which is minus 4, plus minus square root of b square means 4 square, minus 4, a is 1, times c is 6, divided by 2a is 2 times 1, okay? So that will be equal to minus 4 plus minus inside the square root, 4 square, this is 4 square, right, is 16 minus 4 times 6 is 24, divided by 2, okay? So if I reduce this a little bit and create some space, so x-axis intercept x is equal, so here x is equal to minus 4 plus minus now, 24 is greater than 16 from, so from 24, subtract 16, but retain the negative sign of the larger number. So this is 24 minus 16 is 8, and then minus 8 divided by 2. Now, this can be written as x is equal to minus 4 plus minus 4 times 2 minus, of course divided by 2, or it can be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 2 times square root of minus 1 divided by 2. Now x then becomes equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 and square root of minus 1 is i times square root of 2 divided by 2. Or if you want to simplify it further, you can write x is equal to minus 4 over 2 plus minus 2 by 2 i times square root of 2. Now this 2 and 2 cancels and this 2 goes into 4, 2. So x is equal to minus 2 plus minus i square root of 2. Now remember, i is square root of minus, uh, square root of minus 1. Okay, is the imaginary number. Since the x-axis, x-axis, intercept contents 
I, there is no real x-axis intercepts. Okay, so now let's uh, draw the graph, okay? So, <clears throat> we already know the vortex uh, So let's uh, move this a little bit up. So vertex is uh, minus two, two, okay? And uh, Y intercept, Y axis intercept, intercept, is zero six okay <laughs> also notice the equation is of the form fx is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 6, which we can write as fx is equal to x, x squared plus 4x plus 6. which we can write as x squared plus 4x plus n squared minus n squared plus 6. Now n is equal to half of 4 whole thing squared. Okay, so this is n squared okay? is equal to uh, 2 square is equal to 4. So we can write this as x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 4 plus 6 or x plus 2 square and 6 minus 4 is 2. So that's your fx. Now, uh, let's move this up a little bit. So, that means if you compare with the standard form, g of x is equal to a x minus h square plus k. Okay, so the vertex is 2, 2. Vertex is 2, vertex is 2, 2, okay, and A is equal to 1, parabola opens upward, opens up and upward. So, and the picture is like this then. If we want to make a okay. so let's draw the axis over here. Okay. Actually vertex is two two, not minus two two. Okay. Because it's x squared plus four x. Uh, sorry, vertex is uh, compared with a, a, so it is word indeed it is minus 2 over 2, okay, because 
your H is minus 2 and K is 2. So vertex is minus 2, 2. So this is 1, and this is 2, and this is 3, and this is again 1, minus 1, and this is minus 2. Okay. So this is uh, minus 1, this is minus 2. So vertex is, uh, and this is 1, and this is 2. So vertex is minus 2, 2 over here. Okay. And the x axis, the y axis intercept is 0, 6, 0, and then 6. So 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the y axis intercept is over here. The axis of symmetry, let's take a look at the axis of symmetry at x equal to the axis of symmetry. I hope you did not quit me because I'm going to do some important steps at the end. So the axis of symmetry, vertex formula, I did it, vertex, y-axis intercept, okay. So x equal to vertex is x equal to, so vertex is h is equal to minus 2. So if I write axis of symmetry, symmetry is x is equal to h or x is equal to, in this case, minus 2. So this is your axis of symmetry. This is your vertex, minus 2, 2. So basically, the graph will look something like this. Something like this, okay. So this is your axis of symmetry, axis of, let me erase that and write it nicely. And this is um, your axis of symmetry. This one is your axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry. x equal to minus 2. Notice there is no real x-axis intercept. Okay. I stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. The important tip I wanted to give you the hint is to realize that the vertex coordinates are minus b of 2 divided by 2a and the y corresponding y is function of minus b by 2a. That is you sub substitute the x value of the vertex which is minus b over 2a into the function and get the corresponding y value which will be the coordinate or y coordinate of the paired data point vertex, which is actually h sub k, h comma k. h is the x coordinate, k is the y coordinate of the ordered pair, which is the vertex. In this case, the parabola opens upward because as I showed the a, which is the term on Outside the parenthesis of x minus h square plus k, a is 1, which is positive. Therefore, the parabola opens upward. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. And I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share with your friends. If you like this video, please... Uh, Subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, and please check out the Algebra Problems playlist where I have solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner.
I will see you tomorrow with another interesting problem in algebra and another interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.